Hi, today we're going to be replacing the filters on a Corsi Rosenthal box. So we used to have Filtreat 1900 filters on there and uh, they're getting kind of old and dirty and we're going to replace them with 3M Filtreat 2200 filters. So my son's going to be using a box cutter on here. We always want to make sure that we're not uh, cutting in a dangerous way when we're using box cutters. And we're going to be using, as illustrated right there, four Filtreat 2200 filters. They're 20 inches by 20 inches by one inch deep. Now, we should have worn masks while we were doing this. And I recommend that you wear a mask with dirty filters because dust gets up into the air while you're doing this. So we're just doing the, the tour around here, removing the duct tape. Make sure that when you go over the electrical cord that you don't cut the electrical cord. That's important. So here we're just taking the duct tape off the edges, one bit at a time. And we're going to take off this little piece of cardboard ring that uh, is on, on the top there that helps bridge the filters and the fan. So we're just taking the last little piece off of here. This is the cardboard on the bottom. We're going to keep that, but we're going to get rid of the filters. When you dispose of the filters, it's a good idea to wear gloves and a mask. We should have done that. All right, so we're taking out the 2200 filters. So they're, they're better ratings. They'll catch more stuff as they filter out the air. Make sure to follow the arrows. The arrows should all point inwards on the box. There's an arrow on each one of these filters. Just make sure that they point inwards. It, it points in the direction of airflow. We're using masking tape to temporarily hold each filter together. And once you're all done, once again, verify that all arrows are pointing inwards. Our filters were a little bit damaged. And so my son is in the process of making sure that the filters are, are bonded together nicely to minimize the gap. We're now covering up those gaps with duct tape and we're reusing the cardboard from before. So all the gaps will be covered up and we're covering up the gap between the filters and the cardboard as well on the bottom. Very easy to do with the gray duct tape that you have right here. It's just regular duct tape from the hardware store. The same ones that are used in duct work. We're putting that cardboard ring back on and duct taping in place in a second. There we go. And again, we use that, that masking tape to temporarily keep things in place before we duct tape it. Making sure that the gap is closed up with the duct tape. And then we'll put the fan on top. Our dog's been visiting throughout because she's pretty curious about what we're doing. There's the fan. It's a 20 inch box fan from Lasco. And they're very common in most uh, hardware stores. So sealing up the gaps under the box fan. And we have a shroud that's been cut out to about 15 uh, or 15.75 inches in diameter on the top right there and it, it improves airflow, but you don't need it. It just, it makes things easier. So we've got a cardboard shroud on the top with a circle cut out and that's been placed on top of the box fan. And now we're just adding in the duct tape to make sure that the space between the shroud and the box fan is closed up. My son thought that the orange was pretty ugly and he prefers the gray color of traditional duct tape, I think he's right. I think it looks better. 
Make sure not to duct tape over the, uh, the dial or the handle on the box fan. Do a check. It's always important to check the state of the electrical cord and to check the, uh, the gaps. It all looks good. This took about 45 minutes to finish. But a uh, little inspection here by my son and the dog. Everything seems to check out. Yeah, I think we're good. Yep, we're good. And that was the Corsi Rosenthal box rebuilt. And it took, there you go, 45 minutes. Good luck, everyone.